Family atmosphere. Everybody comes in day in, day out. We all go through the same stuff. Have a lot of stories, a lot of memories with the whole team. And I think that's that's the the one thing I take away from this and I'll cherish because it's it's the best part I think. We played a very strong St. Thomas Moore team that has lots of talent, and they're doing exceptionally well as, as, as well. We did not play our best, and, and uh, now we're, um, we're starting to peak. We've, we've got a few of our injured players back, and, and uh, we feel that in these last two weeks of the season, if we can continue to build momentum into the playoffs, that we'll have a very good postseason as well. Uh, I think just our attitude. Yeah, after that game, we kind of took us down a notch, and. We thought that we knew we had to work a lot harder than we were before, and it really it humbled us. So far, we've come in clutch through some pretty big games, and we're on quite a good, uh, good roll so far. We stopped underestimating teams. We respect teams a little bit more, and now we're we're ready to go every game, and we're in a mindset to play better. I, th I don't think there's anything different physically, but we're just in a better mindset to play now. Our quarterback, Will Clark, he just, he's something else. He's next level. Uh, linebackers, they all did good. Cameron Ma, outstanding. It's incredible, because I play right guard, so I'll be blocking. I've got my guy like four yards. I see Tion, looks like he's gonna go down, maybe get six yards, and then he just breaks out of it for another 10, 15 yards, and he just keeps going. It just you can see the defense just after a few of his runs, they just get tired of him. Oh, I have the best view to see it, so it's crazy to see him get hit time and time again and keep running, and keep getting, hit, keep going up, because he's not a big guy, but he's so tough and mentally tough too. And it's really, it's really something to watch. Notre Dame VC is kind of like both Vancouver east side, west side, and they were on a run, I think it was 13 straight Archbishop's Cops. Last two years we've won them. It's a big rivalry, you know. Um, they'll never catch me wearing anything purple or gold, and just, that's just the way it is. Well, they'll be tough. They've got a very good team, loads of talent, loads of speed, and so we're going to have to play uh, disciplined on uh, defense and offense. They got uh, three outstanding running backs that they uh, sub in and out. They don't get tired. Their quarterback, uh, Eric, He's really good, system QB from what I've seen so far. VC, definitely VC. I wanted to play that Archbishop Cup again. Last, last year was a real fun game. It's always hard to play against those guys. Those guys work hard, really well. They're really dis disciplined, so it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be fun. I'm ready for it, though. You know, they're a really good team. They always are. They always play really, play really hard. and. If you don't practice well against them, you're not going to do well. And just they're they're also on a really good run. I believe they're uh, the same record as us. And going to that game, it'll probably be one of the bigger Archbishop's Cups in the last few years, and it'll be really exciting. Just to just to rise to the challenge of uh, college because. If you compare the scores, they have they have uh, beaten the, uh, the the teams that we have by big 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 margins. They've beaten Mount Douglas by a big score, and they annihilated. <laughs> I guess you could say New West. So they they really have done a job this year, and they'll be a a, a pretty formidable opponent.